It's a sport for adrenaline junkies, the Formula One of aviation. The Red Bull Air Race, created in 2003, is the most famous air racing competition. Pilots travel the world to race in different cities like Abu Dhabi, Budapest or Indianapolis, usually over a body of water. They fly one by one against the clock through a challenging obstacle course with strict rules. Pilots get penalty seconds if they fly outside of the red segment or if they hit one of the pylons. The gates are about 15 meters wide, so fitting a wingspan of 8 meters can be tricky, especially at speeds of up to 400 kilometers per hour. At that speed, the G-force can go up to 10, which means you weigh 10 times more than you do on the ground. So we decided to try it out and join one of those daredevils up in the air. Putting the parachute on, and I hope I'm not going to have to use it. Hello. Hello. Some say women have a better G-force tolerance than men, but the fear factor seems to be the same. And here's what it feels like in the plane during a slalom known as a chicane. Okay, three, two, one. Minutes later, we were safely back on solid ground thanks to our pilot, Baptiste Vigne. This was probably one of the most incredible experiences of my life. Thank you, yeah. Baptiste, You're welcome. for this great flight. Yeah. Do you feel tired? Yes. I feel like I just ran a marathon, not that I know what it's How's your like. stomach? It's okay, actually, yeah? for now. <laughs> <laughs> Baptiste Vigne is in his second season of the Red Bull Air Race. He's one of 10 pilots in the Challenger class, the sort of gateway to the elite master class. At 31 years old, he's been flying for more than half of his life, and like most pilots, got into air racing after years of competitive aerobatics, looking for more speed. It's a very different way of, fly, of uh, flying, because uh, you are flying low in the Red Bull Air Race, but you need to be very precise, very fast, because you are fighting against, against the clock. Like Vigne, Melanie Astles also has an aerobatics background as well as being a commercial pilot for Air France. She's also the very first and only woman to compete in the Red Bull Air Race, a status she's extremely proud of. I wanted to be a fighter pilot and I didn't see any other models, so I'm really proud to be a, a model and represent women in, in aviation, in this sport. First of all, it's important for me to be a pilot in the racing not to be a woman. But then it's also nice to be a girl and to show that it's possible as a girl to do it. Her goal is to build her own team and join the master class by 2020. The elite currently has three French pilots, including veteran competitor Nicolas Ivanov. Since 2004, he has flown in nearly 80 races around the world, but never at home. That's about to change when pilots descend on Cannes for the very first race in France. I'm really happy to have a race in Cannes. And when you look at the sights, you really think it was made for this. It looks like an amphitheater made specially for air racing in the middle of the bay. It's ideal. Ivanov and all the other French pilots are focused on making this race count, hoping to become the first French pilot to win on home soil over the beautiful Bay of Cannes.